If you want to be fast like a speed of light, then stick with me because I will show you how you can do this cool super speed effect in CapCut. Create a new project and import the clip you want to work on. I will choose this one when I was running around like crazy on the field just to show you how easy it is to create a super speed effect in CapCut. Look at me, I'm running like a chicken up and down on the field. Ok, let's go back on the beginning and reduce the volume to the zero. Now we have to cut parts out when we are running, so go to the point when you start running and click cut. Repeat the cutting on the parts where you are running. Because we want to create a speed effect, we need to change the speed on the parts we just cut it out. So let's go on the beginning and click the first part we cut it out. Click on speed, normal and then put the speed to around 8. Repeat the process for all the clips where you are running. Ok, let's check how our video looks like till now. Ok, it looks good, but we still have two more things to do. Let's stretch the clips a little bit and we will add motion blur to the parts where we are running. Highlight the clip and scroll to the right side and click on the motion blur icon. Set blur to maximum and blend to around 15, direction both and times twice. Then do exactly the same for all the other clips where you are running. Ok, let's see what we made till now. Looks pretty good to me, but there's still one thing we need to do to make the perfect clip. We will add some sound effects and because I'm a big fan of Epidemic Sound, I will add the sounds from there. So go to Epidemic Sound and click Sound Effects and type Super Power. Choose the one you like and save it to your device. Now let's go back to CapCut because we will add this sound effect we just downloaded it. Click on Audio, Sounds, then click on this folder up here, From Files and find the sound effect you just downloaded it. Click this plus icon to add it to your timeline. Adjust the sound effect to your clip and do the same for the second clip. What you can do is copy the same sound effect and place it to the second clip when you are running. What I will do, I will add slightly different sound effect for our last clip so it sounds a little bit different. So when you are happy with everything, just export the project and at the end you should get something like this. Thank you for watching and see you on the next one.